Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Carb Spice. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm sharing with you my most recent leg workout, lower body workout. I was really excited about this workout, guys, because not only am I at a new gym with really great equipment, but I like the space and the facilities this gym offers. I have started incorporating more plyometric workouts on my leg days. Um, in an effort to improve my strength and agility as well as my overall postpartum fitness. So as you can see, I'm starting off my routine with stretching, which is sometimes overlooked. Stretching is really important. It helps with your flexibility, your blo blood flow to major muscle groups, whether it's your legs or your core. Um, stretching helps to limit the chances of getting any type of muscle pain or aches or muscle pulls during your workouts. So it's very important that you start off any kind of major workout with stretching. Then I went on to do some plyometric um, moves. You know, plyometric simply means you're doing exercises with speed and force in an effort to build muscle power. I love box jumps because box, box jumps help um, with the overall development of my glutes, calves, hamstrings, quads. I mean, box jumps are just an overall good exercise for your entire low, lower body. Um, overall, you become faster, more powerful, and you also get that increase in heart rate, which can ultimately help with your efficiency. So it's something I'm getting um, used to. I'm enjoying doing more of these types of plyo workouts. Um, if you go back to my first attempt at doing anything plyometric, I was really afraid of jumping and getting so high because I didn't want to fall. But here I am embracing them and I'm really enjoying um, these types of workouts. So hopefully I just get better as as the time goes by. Then I went on to do these hip abductions. I'm not new to doing those. You see these all the time on my channel. Um, basically you're moving the leg away from the midline of your body. We do these in everyday life without even thinking about it. If you think about how you sidestep or you get out or into a car, all of those are hip addu abduction type exercises. And the reason why I do them is because they help with um, rotating my hips without becoming injury prone. They also help with walking and my posture. And also just help, you know, they help overall with your core strength. It probably might not seem that way, but when your hips are aligned or misaligned rather, a lot of things can literally go haywire. You guys know at one time I was really, really present at the chiropractor and I had to kind of take a step back and really make adjustments to how I was training in the gym in an effort to kind of get out of that vicious cycle. And then I went on to do some hamstring curls. So that is your back thigh muscle. When you contract them, they help to lift your lower leg. Your hamstrings help with functional motion like walking, um, even running or jogging. And your hamstring curl exercises work not only your hamstrings, but, but your glutes, your quads. Um, it's not really an exercise that you can do. It looks like if you are sort of isolating. Um, this is like the most, or one of the exercises where I can isolate my hamstrings the most, but in reality, you are still incorporating your glutes and your quads as well, even your calves, to ex execute the exercise. And that is why I love the exercise. I love exercises that incorporate more than one muscle group at a time. Then I moved on to stationary lunges. Um, stationary lunges are a great lower body exercises. Again, at one time, I shied away from doing these for whatever reason. I think I didn't like how they um, felt on my knees, but you live and you learn. You learn how to execute exercises properly based on your height, your weight, etc. So they're great total lower body exercise um, and they, they incorporate the lower 
body in its entirety, like from your calves all the way to your glutes. So that includes your hamstrings and your quads as well. So you can do walking lunges, reverse lunges. There's so many different um, variations, but I really love stationary lunges. Then heading towards the end of my workout, at least the weight training part of it, I did some straight leg deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts, which engages your posterior chain. So that's your glutes, your calves, your hams, um, even your lats because you're holding on to the barbell you can do these with dumbbells as well um, even your arms you know so they're your your deadlift exercise they're really a compound movement by itself and so that is why I like doing um, a lot of these types of exercises because they incorporate so many different types of or groups of muscle and then I ended up with a cool down. So I opted for the Stairmaster. It's low impact. Um, it's great for core engagement. Um, it helps with the gradual recovery of, you know, your heart rate. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I did some kickbacks as well. Again, just to kind of incorporate my glutes. And it helps to regulate your blood pressure. It's kind of like walking you know but overall it's a one of the low impact ways to cool down you can also cool down with stretching i just opted for the stair master so that is it guys i appreciate you looking on i hope you enjoyed the video leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up feel free to share my workouts and until next time peace i will see you guys in the next one